Hi, this is Irv. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy accordion patch in Citrus. Uh, to start, head into Operator 1. We're going to modify our sign into a saw sign. So click on the skew slider here and drag it up to about 33 or 34%. That'll do just fine. First, we're going to create a volume envelope. So let's delete our decay tab, or decay point, I should say, and drag our sustain point back to a time index of about 0, 0,150. And then drag the tension control down so it eases in very gently. Next, take the release point and drag it out a little ways, maybe to about 0, 0,450. And then again, drag down the tension controller here. Okay, next, let's head into the oscillator tab. Uh, you'll probably want to zoom all the way in for this. To do that, click this box here, drag up and down to zoom in and out. Okay. For harmonic two, we're going to set it at about 90%, and harmonic three through nine we'll put at 85% roughly. So that 86 will do. So to do this, we can right click and drag over to harmonic nine and have the finish point at 80 86%. And that'll automatically fill in everyone in between. We can also use that to draw lines of any any slope which can be very handy so let's eradicate those okay next harmonic 10 we'll put a little bit lower 79 percent harmonic 11 we'll put in the 60s 63 percent harmonic 12 i'll put at 45 percent and harmonic 13 at 11. So as you can see in our harmonic editor, the first 10 harmonics are very heavy and then tapers off to nothing. Okay, let's see how that sounds so far. Not too bad. To really take it to the next level, as we did last time, we're going to turn on unison. We'll put it at order 3, and I'm going to leave the rest of these controls just as they are. They'll be just fine. So next I'm going to add a little bit of bass to this. To do that I'm going to use operator 2 with half the frequency. But first we're going to come into operator 1, go down to copy oscillator settings. This way operator 2, once we paste it in, will have the exact same waveform as operator 1. So now click on the frequency ratio, set that to 1, and we'll get a bit more of a bass sound with that. So on the operator 2 to output, let's set that knob at about 33%. And let's see how she sounds. One last thing we'll want to remember to do is to copy the volume envelope from operator 1 to operator 2. So in the envelope editor options, go to copy state, come to operator 2, and click paste state. There we are. Not too bad. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the YouTube comments here. Um, and this preset is also available for download at cafebeatpub.com slash fl. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.